Hey guys, MTash here. It is almost 11 p.m. my time. I just streamed for 12 hours straight of grinding. 12 hours straight of getting some stuff done that took me way longer than it should, but I've banged out a lot of content today. I'm talking, I'm the king of the grind today. So I'm gonna go through the tower. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm excited. I'm, I'm pumped up. I got some stuff here to show you. And uh, I know some of it you're gonna go, wait, what? You don't have that yet? But I just banged out like six pinnacles today. We're gonna go to Zavala and we've got the Wendigo. Now, I know, I know, this is like two or three seasons old. Uh, I don't care. I got it finally. I've heard it's pretty fun to play around with. Now, I know that a god rolled uh, love and death, which pretty much what I have here, um, I could get field prep, but apparently love and death with full court, with spike grenades, with field prep is actually better overall for DPS, but I wanted to get the Wendigo. Who knows? Maybe they buff it down the road. Well, we got it. Check that off the list. Boom. Followed up. Same day. And like the, the, the thing is, is I did all these grinds in like one day. Followed up with the Edgewise. I'm excited about this one because it's got some solar damage, which might be good for the a new update. I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up. We got the edgewise. I know it's not as good as 21 Delirium, but we got 21 Delirium um, this expansion as well, or this season as well. So I made a lot of progress on my character. I got 21 Delirium, edgewise, Randy's throwing knife. I mean, that's pretty good so far. That's, that's amazing. So I got four pinnacle weapons actually. Randy's Edgewise, Wendigo, and 21 Delirium. But it's not done yet. We're not done yet. Let me just show you what we got here. So now, uh, I think I gotta go to Smith. Aren't you? No. There we go. I got the Ariana's Va uh, Val Catalyst today. I was at 26% and I ground out 74%. Ariana's Vow Catalyst, um, I don't think the quest was going away, but I didn't want to chance it. I was like, I'm not chancing it, I'm not risking it, I grinded this out. So I did a mixture of Gambit Prime while I was doing my other stuff. Uh, uh, strikes while I was getting Wendigo. I mean, I was grinding my ass off doing strikes today, because we got two pinnacle weapons today. So I did probably 20 strikes today. So, boom. Uh, boom. A tingle, pop, pop, pop. But we ain't done yet. We're not done yet. We've got more on the docket. Let me just make my way over to the Drifter. Uh, let me cut ahead so you don't get to watch me walking for nine years. Oh, what's this? I got Hush finally as well? Oh, what's this? I got a little solar bow, which might be a top tier weapon in the new update. Oh, what's this? A little godly bow right for me? I don't know for sure if it's going to be godly, but, you know, I might as well get this, right? I I should have got this a while ago. I think with Archer's Gambit, um, there might be some fun stuff you can do in the Sundial event, right? You hit fire some trash mobs and then lay into some other ones. I'm excited for this. It doesn't have Rampage, it doesn't have the bonus damage, but I'm excited to try it out and see if it's good. I think Pulse Rifles are probably going to be the meta, but I wanted to get Hush. So, boom, hush, and we're not done yet. We got the exit strategy. I, I suck at getting guns, guys. I'm so lazy, and this one took me a while, too. I don't know how amazing this will be, but I figure why not have it? It's a 900 RPM. It's in the kinetic slot, so you'd have to give up Izanagi. Um, you know, the rolls, there's nothing on here that's too amazing. I get that. I understand that. But I'm hoping... I'm hoping that maybe one day this becomes a meta choice. Maybe they nerf Izanagi. I don't know. I figure I could just have it in my inventory for fun. Got some pretty good stats on it overall. Like the base stats are good. Stability is going to be nuts on this thing. So we got the exit strategy. I'm happy with that. But we're not done yet. Okay? We're, not, we're, we're literally not done. So um, I need to go into my... My, my triumphs and find it quickly, but just give me one second and let me find it. Okay, uh... 
This is awkward. I made a video about <laughs> about being dredging and I was like, I'm a dredging now. And then I realized that I didn't have the ghost. I I thought I had three resets. Do you need three resets in one season? Because I I, I thought it was three total. I thought I've done three. Because I got malfeasance. I, I swore I would have. I swore I had this done. I was I was positive. I was gonna say I got dredging as well. I didn't get dredging. What the fuck? And like the other thing too is I had this guy waiting. For, like I, I don't. <laughs> there was a little package here, and I gr I grabbed the package. But was the package always there and I needed to claim it for the third one to count? I don't even know. I thought I was dredging. Fuck off. Oh my god. And I'm not even anywhere close. Like, I mean, I've got these bounties and it's triple infamy. But I'm not going back in. I'm not going back in now. There's no way. I can't do it. There's no way. I can't. I can't go and do it. Okay, that's not it though. I got a couple little more things to show you, okay? Just one second. So on the Warlock, uh, one of the best exotics in the game, if you like PvP, is the Transverse of Steps. And I was grinding Nightfalls the other day for like 10 hours, and I like freaked out when I saw these. It's not the best roll ever. It's not like it's not like the, the end all be all, but it was a 60 stat roll, Transverse of Steps, in the void this is huge because i already have an arc one that had a very good role and uh, so i ended up master working this one but had pretty good stats overall pretty big mixed bag right i mean billions me i can swap that out get some recovery or whatever i want but pretty good role overall recovery discipline we got a little bit of strength uh but these boots i was farming i, I don't know how many nightfalls i did looking for transverse of steps and ophidian aspects that those are the two i wanted for pvp uh, i ended up getting the arc one i don't know if it's actually in my inventory anymore i might have moved it i moved it out of my inventory but i got an arc one with a 60 roll i for shotgunning i got this one for sniping but i'm still waiting on a good ophidian aspect i didn't get any good ophidian aspects so this one's not like meta or anything but while i was doing when to go and all that stuff I, I got my catalyst for the fighting line finally finished. So now I was thinking maybe I could meme around with this in PvE and do a video because I, I mean, come on, this is a, what the hell is this? This is a, what the hell is this? And now I finally have the uh, catalyst done. So I'm happy about that. That's going to be some juicy reload speed for the memes. I also, so I also got this bad boy. This is a rampage outlaw ricochet round Looted Barrel, Stability Masterwork, Subjunctive. This thing is like a little laser beam. Um, I can also get some more range if I would like. But I kind of like Rampage because I can throw on the uh, the Rampage spec. And, you know, just kind of run around with that high DPS all the time. It is an arc weapon. But with the changes coming to Recluse, we don't have the full patch notes yet, but Recluse might be doo-doo. And so I want to use this thing. I want to try this out. And, um... It might be a good DPS weapon. I don't know. I think pulses are going to be pretty meta. And I actually have two that I really like. I'm going to be using this Claw of the Wolf. Rampage, Outlaw. We've got Flared uh, Magwell. Looted Barrel. So it's very stable. We've got a Reload Masterwork. I'm going to see if I even want to Masterwork this thing. Because I don't know how much I'm going to like it just yet in PvE. But I've got the Rampage spec as well. And if I want to jack up my Magazine. I can go to 42. Um... But I don't know if I want to take that hit to the reload speed. I mean, with Outlaw, the reload speed is going to be pretty amazing. So maybe I do. But this is going to be one of them. But then I found this while I was prepping. Look at this. Kill Clip. Outlaw. Uh, flared Magwell. We got the Reload Masterwork. It's a 390 RPM last perdition. It's a void weapon. I think this one has some potential too. Like, I, I think this one is going to be probably one of the ones I use for a while in PvE. I've been running around with it a little bit. Pretty snappy. I like it. That's pretty much it, guys. There's not much more to say. Not much more to show. Uh, I got a couple little fun things. I ended up getting this spare rations today while I was farming. 
Kill Clip, Rapid Hit, Light Meg, Range Masterwork. Uh, I mean, this thing is pretty nutty for PvE. The issue is giving up Izanagi is, is, it's tough. Izanagi is just so good, but I'm still pretty happy with that thing. We got a Lonesome that I'm going to meme around with and play some PvE, I think, as well. Or, sorry, PvP with this. But those are, like, the main things. I can't think of anything else that I got today. But this was a long farming day. Like, I... I geez. Other than, like, a couple random random items that have decent rolls, those are the main things that I wanted to showcase. I thought we got a title. We got, like, pretty much five weapons. Hush, Exit Strategy, Edgewise, um, Wendigo, and... Like, there's new rituals coming out tomorrow. So, I'm going to bed. This is a late night video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.